Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, the last episode. So much story in the DLC, and a few short-ass duels. One of them we lost to Bones. But then we won, with the help of Garuzis and Battle Warrior. Anyway, it's now time for the face-off between Kaiba and Yugi, the one where Kaiba wins. Let's go. Spoilers, by the way. While Yugi's team worked their way through the tournament, our history now turns to Seto Kaiba for a moment. As you remember, Kaiba... Oh, sorry. Seto had only been defeated in Duel Monsters once by Yugi. Seto had a little brother named Mokuba. Pegasus kidnapped Mokuba. Get used to those two words being the same sentence. Kidnapped Mokuba. Get used to that. And locked him in a dungeon to lure Seto into a trap. And it worked. As Seto made his way into the dungeon to save his brother, Pegasus sprung the trap and stole Mokuba's soul, just as he had Yugi's grandfather. Seto Kaiba, do you care enough about your brother's life to try and save his soul? You're not human! Quite human, actually, just extraordinarily gifted. Pegasus threw a handful of star chips at Kaiba. Here, you'll need these for your duel with Yugi. Why are you doing this? My reasons are none of your concern. Maybe I just enjoy the struggle. Watching the constant tug of war between you and Yugi boy. Or maybe I want something you're incapable of comprehending. Talk straight! What do you want? Want? I want to see if you're capable of defeating little Yugi in a duel. And only if you successfully crush him in a humiliating defeat will you get the opportunity to duel me. Then, if you beat me, I promise to restore your brother's soul. For now, I have no choice to play your game. But as soon as I defeat Yugi, I'll be back. And you'd better make good on your promise to restore my brother. Because if you don't, I'll take great pleasure in separating your soul from your body in my own way. And with that, Pegasus had another duelist under his control to take down Yugi. Yugi and I both have enough star chips to get into the castle, ain't that right, Yug? I wish that they added in the battle with the Paradox Brothers. Because I just wanted to see how they would have done it in this game. It was a tag team duel and it was like, here's what Labyrinth Wall does. And it's like, that is not how Labyrinth Wall works at all. Yeah. Finally, Grandpa, here I come. Hey guys, look. You're not going to believe who's blocking our way into the castle. It's Kaiba. I can't let you pass, Yugi. I've won 10 star chips, so stand aside. You may have won enough star chips to qualify for for the Duelist Kingdom playoffs. But I can't allow you to face Pegasus. He's mine. You and I are going to have one final duel, Yugi. I'm not dueling you. I don't have to. So, no longer confident that your so-called heart, heart of the cards can help you win? You're just afraid you can't beat me a second time, you coward. Back off, he doesn't have to prove anything. Yugi, you said you won by tapping into the heart of the cards. And for a long time, I didn't know what that meant. But now I think I do. It took Pegasus to show me. He gave me a reason to put my heart in the cards. For the first time, I can duel with fire and passion burning in my heart. Yugi, you can't accept this duel. I've changed. I deserve a rematch. Give me a chance to play you now, Yugi. Let me play you for the right reasons. Kaiba, I accept your duel. We'll see what you've really learnt. Man, that was short in comparison, wasn't it? Alright, our battle with... Uh, well, we're actually Kaiba. Our battle with Yugi. We're going to play as... Oh, we go first as well. Great. Right, so... Yeah, we're playing with Kaiba's deck. Brilliant. Right. Let's see what we can do. Well, Pot of Greed to kick off is pretty good. Gift of the Mystical Elf is not a bad card either. Right, well, first off, Pot of Greed. Don't know what it does, though. Um... Okay, I'm going to set Wall of Illusion first. So, Wall of Illusion, 1850 defense on a 4-star monster, that's pretty good. Uh, if this card is attacked by a monster, after damage calculation, return that monster to the hand. It's a pretty decent card because, well, not many level 4 monsters can actually beat Wall of Illusion without anything extra. That won't do it, for example. So, there you go. Damage. And back to the hand it goes. Ah, oh, Yugi! You bastard, and your swords are revealing shite. Right, okay. Great, we got Grappler. Awesome. 
Right, let's summon Battle Ox now. Right, so I gotta wait for Swords of Revealing Light to go. Lovely! <sighs> Alright, what's he gonna do? Defense Mode card! And a Face Down card! Okay, I feel like a Mirror Force is there somewhere. Dispel! Oh yes, thank you. Get rid of your swords, thank you very much. Alright, now what? I'm gonna set Sagi the Dark Clown. I'm gonna set Gift of the Mystical Elf as well. Uh, increase your life points by 300 for each monster on the field. It's pretty good altogether. I'm going to attack. It's not Mirror Force. He doesn't have a Mirror Force. Okay, that's fine. It is Giant Soldier of Stone, so... Gotta be worried about that. Yes, I... No, I know I won't, actually. No, I won't. Nope. Nope. Now! Now I will activate Gift of the Mystical Elf. Give me 1,500 life points, please. Mini Guts! Tribute one monster. Your opponent controls the attack of a monster becomes... Oh, God. Ah! Ah! What the hell was that? Tribute one monster, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes zero uh, until the end phase. This turn, when it is destroyed by battle instead of the graveyard, inflict damage equal to, to your opponent equal to the original attack in the... Whoa! Okay, that's a nasty card. That's a very nasty card. All right, well. Let's summon Rukishin Powered. I'm switching Wall of Illusion. I'm switching everything into attack mode. Fine. I need to go on the offensive now. No, 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 Mullet, that actually is a mirror force. It's not. Good. Right, let's take this duel back. Nope, scapegoat. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yami Yugi did not have scapegoat. He didn't. That was Joey that has scapegoat, not Yugi. Ah, uh, oh well. Right. Mystic box. Oh! I don't want him! Alright, Summoner's Art. Add a level 5 or higher normal monster from your deck to your hand. Well, that works pretty well for me. Obviously, I'm going to take Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, well, I'm summoning Grappler. I'm switching this to defense mode because screw taking damage. Sagi is going to attack you. Wall of Illusion is going to attack directly, as is Grappler. All right, we've taken, the, we've retaken the lead here, and we have a Blue Eyes in our hand. It's pretty good. If I can get two more of those Summoners Arts, I can get Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon on the field, and that, that's really the card that, um, you know, that was such a such a strong card. Um, you know, in this duel was Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Uh, the, the debut of the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, actually. You need three Blue Eyes White Dragons and Polymerization, but it has 4,500 attack points. I believe at this point in the anime, it was the strongest monster in the game. When it came to attack points, at least. It was the strongest in the game. Is that a Mirror Force? It's not. Okay. I'm just testing the waters here, because I don't want all my uh, monsters to die. So, don't want that. Nothing! Okay, I win. I win. I just win. So let's screw it. Let's 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 tribute uh, Sagi and uh, I'll tribute a Wall of Illusion for Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yes. Nope. <laughs> what would happen if I attacked the escape route? Ah! It was a Mirror Force. Damn you! Ah, oh, you bastard! It was a Mirror Force all along. Damn it. He was just waiting for the right moment to use it. You ass. You utter ass, basket. All right. Scrum switching my sleep sheep token to attack mode. Go, sheep token. Yes. All right. Sheep token, attack. Did bugger all. Aquamador attack. All right. Still getting some damage in. All right, well, there goes Bloy's Ultimate Dragon, unless I can find Monster Reborn in my deck, which even which Kaiba might have. I think he might do. Griffor. Okay. Right. Well, there's my second Blue Eyes. 
I'm going to tribute Aquamanor to summon Swordstalker. Right. Attack Griffor! Okay. The legendary Griffor has been defeated. I should have ended this a long time ago. I shouldn't have summoned Blue Eyes. Karibo. Multiply. Yeah, of course. Here come the tokens! Yay! So multiply, you get to tribute your Karibo and then fill your board with your Karibo tokens in defense mode. It's kind of annoying. Luckily, these things can't be tributed. Fusion Sage. Well, that's kind of useless to me at this point. Oh, well. I will draw Polymerization, though. Why not? It means now I have 22 cards in my deck and I could, could draw something better, so... Right, now... We once again... Need to try and get through Yugi's defenses. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, you. All right. So we've got half of his defenses. That's not bad, actually. And he needs to summon a monster hero. I win. Attack mode. Oh, not mini guts again. No. No, not sword stalker. Oh, God. Horn of the unicorn as well. Ah. No. No. Stop it. You. Gee. Stop. Great, I draw my third polymerization. Well, I think this is over regardless. Because I summon Blue Eyes White Dragon. And unless he does have a... I think Karibo... Would Karibo sort it out? I don't know. Anyway, attack. Damn it, it does work. All right, so no life point damage for Yugi that turn. But it is dead. And it's back on his um, back on the top of his deck, so that's actually pretty good for me. Because now I know one card that's in his hand now, which is Horn of the Unicorn. Which is useless in his hand. Well, cheers for Crush Card Virus. That could have been useful. But no. Victory to me! No! Right, that's your third Karibo. You don't have any more. I know one of your cards is Horn of the Unicorn. I don't know what the other ones are. Surely this is it. Surely this is it. Blue Eyes attack. Thank you. Jesus, he survived as long as he could. Yugi refused to finish his attack against Kaiba because he would inflict physical harm. Oh yeah, this is the moment where Kaiba threatened to commit suicide if Yugi won. Yeah, I remember that. That was weird. When Yugi refused to attack, Kaiba struck and took victory. I can't believe it. That underheaded sleazeball wiped Yugi out. I'm sorry about your grandpa, but you did the right thing. You would have hurt. You would have had to hurt Kaiba, and know your. And I know your grandpa wouldn't have wanted to be saved that way. Then I guess he got what he deserved. If Yugi had done what he needed to be done, he would be entering the castle, not me. But he was too weak to follow through on his play. Pegasus' plan had worked to perfection. Good job, Kaiba boy. As you wish, I will be your next opponent. Little Yugi didn't fare nearly so well in this rematch. His spirit is broken, and his grandfather's soul remains mine. A duel in tears we got now. The face-off. Yugi. Okay, we got Karibo. Mammoth Graveyard. Polymerization. Yay. Right. Might as well do this one as well. A duel of tears. We're playing as Taya. Uh, I'd rather play as Joey, and as you can see, we're against Mai. <laughs> Here we go. Yugi? Come on, Yug. Why would he answer us? I've never seen him like this. He's totally out of it. Well, he did just lose his only chance to save his grandfather. Mai came sauntering up the steps of Pegasus' castle. What's up? If you guys have enough star chips to get into the castle, why are you hanging out here? It's Yug. He lost his chips to Kaiba, and now he's... It's like he's lost the will to go on. So the little guy finally lost one, huh? Lucky for you guys I came by. Listen up, Yugi. You got beat. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. When I got beat, I thought it was all over for me too. But then you stepped in and saved my star chips, and now I'm returning the favor. But if you gave up your star chips, you can't win the prize money. I'm being kind, not stupid. 
Whoa, she already has ten chips of her own. Go on, Yugi. You know that I owe you, so take them. Are my star chips not good enough for you? Fine, then I'll keep them. And your friends can wipe your nose all the way back to the nursery. Grow up. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. My, don't get mad. You just don't understand. Oh, I understand. Your friend's lost one lousy door and now he's too chicken to play again. Isn't that right? How pathetic. Come on, chicken boy. Duel me for them. I'll duel you. I'll duel you right here, right now, for Yugi. Alright. Damn it. Why am I playing as Taya? Last I checked, Taya's deck in the anime was pretty bad. Pretty bad. Right, how many duels does she have? One. Two. Two, I think? Yeah, I think she had two. To be honest, she does have a 100% record. You know, she wins all her duels, which are, which is weird. Right. Well. Okay. Well, immediately this is actually a really good starting hand. Happy Lover to kick off. Then I'm going to play Lucky Iron Axe to increase the attack points to 1300. I'm going to set D-Spell, two of them, face down. And then this card, Mage Power. The equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense points for each spell or trap card you control. That's a 3300 attack point happy lover. <coughs> I just want to say that's a 3300 attack point happy lover. Happy lover. Oh, well, never mind. Ah, well, I get to draw another card at least. Oh, God, it's Harpy Channeler. Great. Okay. Well, that was a good start, but I completely forgot about Harpy Feather Duster. Oh, oh, come on! Give me a monster! Okay, so Tear's deck in this game is very spell-heavy. It's not the best, really, you know. It's not. Ugh. I need a monster. I need a monster now. Now! I guess tenderness will have to do. Right, let's play Elf's Light on Tenderness. This now goes up to 1100. United We Stand is actually a really good uh, spell card as well. Uh, the equipped monster gains 800 attack and defense for each face-up monster you control. You have a lot of monsters? That's demolition right there. Absolute demolition. Sadly, I don't have that. Right, I'm top decking now. I don't like top decking at all. Please don't be RP's Feather Duster. It's not, okay. I, I don't like that face down card. Don't like it. Hate it so much. All right, uh, games. Uh, for each card, either graveyard has the same name it does. Eh? Well, it does nothing. But I might as well equip it because I may get another mage power. Who knows? All right. So, okay. Tear's deck is. I mean, hell, it probably could be really, really good, but also it's really annoying. Another United We Stand. Okay, now things could possibly stack up if I draw another monster. That's a 2700 attack point tenderness, and if I draw a monster and play it, that's over 4000 attack. If I draw a monster, that is. But at the moment, I've drawn like two monsters, and the rest have been spells. Can't wait for my to draw a uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Can't wait for that. Magician of Faith. That's a good card. I'll lay it down. Shadow of Eyes. That means it's flipped into attack position. And its flip effect doesn't go off. But now Tenderness has got like 4,300 attack. Screw off, Harpy Dancer. Tenderness is about to wreck some shit. Come on, Tenderness. All right, I just need to keep plowing through her defenses. That's fair enough. I can do that. Come on, draw another monster. Yes, it's honest. She has honest in a deck. During your main phase, you can return this face-up card to your hand. During either player's damage step, when a light monster you control battles, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard. This monster gains attack equal to the attack of the monster it is battling until the end of the turn. I'm actually going to summon honest, of anything, because it's, it's an all right attacking monster. Damn it. Well, never mind. But I now have a 5,900 attack point. 
beast of tenderness. That is why United We Stand is such a good card. Such a good card, United We Stand. Eagle Eye. Right, he's gonna probably get rid of... Ah, Monster Reborn on Harpy, Le on Harpy Dancer. Okay, there goes that. There goes that. Okay, so Tenderness is back down to 2700. That's fine. That's all right. Petite Angel. I'll set it in defense mode. Right. I could have put him in to, uh, put it in attack mode, but I didn't want to risk it. I will just attack, deal damage. Okay. Uh, we have half the life points that Mai has at the moment. We do have a beefed up Tenderness. Dispel. There goes United. We, there goes one of my United. We stands. Okay. Up oh, there's Harpy Lady. Cyber Shield. Oh Lord. Okay. Right. I can attack and destroy Harpy Lady. Another Honest. That's all right, actually. I'll play that. I need to get rid of Harpy Lady before it starts getting a, becoming a problem. So we'll get rid of it. Okay. I'm hoping that he run that she runs into Honest. That'd be quite good if she can run into Honest. Yes! Run into Honest! Nice. Okay. I'll keep Honest in defense mode for the moment, I think. Mage power. Well, here we go. Here we go! Mage power! I could actually equip Mage Power under Honest, but screw it. Tenderness gets it. 4700 attack. Screw right off. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Right. Now what? Right. Okay. It's a happy lover. All right. I might as well summon that. Attack mode. I'm going on all out offensive now. So. Tenderness. Attack. It's a harpy girl. No, I'm not, I'm not activating uh, thingy on that. No way. Yes! Harpy's pet dragon. Or pet, 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 pet baby dragon. So I can now use honest ability from in my hand to discard it. To destroy... Oh, it didn't work. Oh, it, ga oh, it, yeah, it gains the attack. Okay, oh, Dispelt. There it goes. United we stand. Okay. I still win. And I get Fairy Archer. Well, Fairy Archer would have been nice. Happy Lover attack. Tenderness attack. Tenderness wrecked the shit out of my. I surrender, Taya. I didn't have the cards to win. Yeah, you got beat by Tenderness. Like, Tenderness has now gone into Legend alongside Griffor. Way to go, Taya. You really came through for Yugi. Good match. Whatever, I didn't need these star chips anyway. Mai gave us star chips and started to walk away. Wait, Mai. I have to ask you something. If you played that last card, wouldn't you have won? It was a throwaway. It was nothing that Tear wouldn't have been able to beat anyway. Some cards just aren't worth playing, huh, Yugi? Thank you. Yugi, um, I want these star chips for you. Again! Uh, I don't think there were that many star chips. Just saying. I know. Thank you so much. Sure thing. I'll never forget what you did for me, Taya. You overcame your fears for me. And you've given me the courage to deal with mine. I will duel again. And hopefully the consequences won't be as bad as I fear. Alright. So we get Harpy's Feather Duster. Very good card. Eagle Eye. Harpy's Pet Baby Dragon. And some duel points. Lovely. All right, well, our next one, we've got more DLC, and it's Champion versus Creator. It's Kyber's battle against Pegasus, and we're playing as Pegasus, so we know who loses this. But anyway, guys, I'm going for a break here, but in the next episode, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Kyber versus Pegasus, the Champion versus the Creator. I'll see you then.